Weight loss could be a challenge, and remember that weight gain didn't happen overnight, so it's going to be a gradual process. It is important to keep in mind that when we consume diets that are high in carbohydrates, carbohydrates eventually will turn into sugar, and then the sugar will cause insulin release. The higher the level of insulin, the more weight you gain and the more hungry you feel. So what you want to do is try to keep insulin levels to a minimum. What you have to do in this case is follow a diet that's high in protein and very low in carbohydrates. By doing this, not only does it help you lose weight faster, but at the same time it'll bring down your triglycerides and your blood sugar. The other concept that's very important is to have a high fiber content in your diet. The higher the fiber, the slower the carbohydrates get absorbed. Try to consume portions that are about the size of your fist. So remember, two vegetables, one protein, and one carbohydrate. Also try to incorporate snacks that are high in protein. For example, nuts, low-fat cheese, and Greek yogurt. Make sure you limit trans fats and saturated fats and alcohol drinks, especially things that have a lot of sugar, for example, mixed drinks. Make sure you drink six to eight glasses of water per day. It'll make you feel full and at the same time stay hydrated. So exercise regularly for at least 30 minutes a day and make sure you keep your total number of calories to a minimum. For example, 1,500 or less usually will help you lose weight. Some people may need more, some people may need less. So make sure you check with your doctor.